this is my concept map on membrane structure and function that my dog just stepped on. Um, I have three different categories, structure, functional proteins, and then membrane history. For the structure, sterile slash steroids and glycolipids help provide the structure of the membrane. Um, unsaturated fatty acids give it some fluidity, and then saturated, they help with thermal regulation. The fatty acids are an example of an antiphasic molecule, and then antiphasic molecules um, help form a detergent molecules. For membrane history, um, Membranes are made up of a phospholipid bilayer that have hydrophilic heads and hydrophobic tails. The sandwich model was the first and original model of the membrane, and then the fluid mosaic model is the more updated and more realistic version. Um, for functional proteins, I have a few different ones. Um, membrane proteins, some examples are protein-attached proteins, lipid link proteins, monolayer-associated proteins, peripheral membrane proteins, and then integral membrane proteins. Um, and then glycoproteins are an integral membrane protein. Other functional proteins are anchor protein, which help keep the membrane together, enzymes, which catalyze reactions, receptor proteins, which um, attach to signal proteins, um, and we have proteoglycans down there. Um, transport proteins um, help take particles across the membrane with the help of vesicles. Two different ways that they can transport the particles are through osmosis and simple diffusion. In simple diffusion, um, they're in an isotonic solution and then they have to go down the concentration gradient from a hypertonic to a hypotonic solution. Osmosis is going from a hypotonic solution to a hypertonic solution um, and they have to go through a selectively permeable layer. Um, which basically means that they only allow certain particles in. Um, and the ion channel helps control that, more specifically the gated ion channel. Um, active transport is moving the particles with, um, with energy. Passive, transpo passive transport does not require energy. And they flow through the membrane channels down the electrochemical gradient.